This LMP, LMPD has been dealing with an exodus of police officers. So how many positions are open right now as the city gets ready to approve the new budget tomorrow? WHS 11 19's Tyler Emery got the most updated numbers on this tonight and they are eye opening. Tyler. Right, Doug, and this all comes just ahead of a big day tomorrow where Metro Council will be voting on a budget with a heavy focus on public safety as the city is seeing an unprecedented level of homicides right now. LMPD is telling me here that it's short 241 officers putting in a position where it's struggling to keep up with the gun violence. Overnight, early Wednesday morning, the city learned of a teenager, the 100th homicide victim found shot in the parking lot at Cox Park off River Road. It's something that clearly we've never seen this this early in the year. At a time where LMPD says it isn't just down 241 sworn officers, but over 300 also including civilian employees. You know, right now we're trying to do the best we can to manage the situation that's being handed to us. Um, we need help. We need more people. With the number of shootings the city is seeing, LMPD spokesperson Officer Beth Roof says it's straining the department's homicide unit. It's very taxing and, and it's tough on, on those detectives because they are really working hard to solve these cases. In a recent LMPD podcast episode, Lieutenant Donnie Burbrink says the unit is only clearing about one third of all homicide cases it has to investigate. Last year, I lose people, we gain cases. Each one of my detectives had between eight to 10 cases last year. This year, up to about 15, compared to the four or five cases a year homicide detectives used to have, he says, calling it a nonstop cycle. I've had to weigh, do we put more cops in homicide or do we put more cops in the street to get the guns off the street that are causing the homicides? or do we pull individuals out of investigative units? LMPD Chief Erica Shields says she believes the staffing shortage may only get worse, with the police union saying it agrees and that it could take up to 10 years to turn around the staffing numbers. We're getting near the end of the road where there's not going to be any, any further we can go um, or we're not going to be able to provide the, the everyday services that we do. FOP spokesperson Dave Mutchler also says LNPD officers need higher salaries before the department will even be able to recruit. LNPD's current recruit class only has 15 compared to the usual 48. Now, speaking of officer pay, the FOP is currently in ongoing contract negotiations with the city, which could result in salary increases. And I did mention that Metro Council budget vote tomorrow, which does also include a proposed over $9 million for salary increases for all public safety departments, which does include LMPD. I'm live tonight at LMPD for the night team. I'm Tyler Emery.